everybody! Welcome to JoJo's Corner. Today I want to tell you about an awesome book that I read it's called Darien's Rise. It's the first book in the Adventures of Odyssey Passages series. The entire series is written by Paul McCuster. I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the synopsis from the back of the book. Where in the world am I? Anna wonders. One minute she and her brother Kyle were exploring the creepy abandoned house outside of town. The next minute they were hurtled into another world. Pawns in a power struggle between a mad king and his valiant general, the rightful heir to the throne. Anna sees visions. Kyle thwarts danger. More than once their strange new powers save the young warrior's life from the king's murderous plots. But their supernatural abilities soon make them easy prey for slave traders, kidnappers, and other bitter foes of faith. Are they at the mercy of these strange powers forever? And why does this unseen one, the deity so revered by the faithful, seem powerless to do the one thing they most want, to return them to Odyssey? Let's talk about the plot. This book actually contains two stories. The first story you read about in the epilogue at the end of the book and the prologue at the beginning of the book. It's about two guys, a guy named Jack, a guy named Wit, who find a manuscript in an old trunk at an estate sale. After reading this manuscript, they are just filled with so many questions about it, like who wrote it and is it true and where can they find more manuscripts? They decide that they're going to go to investigate this manuscript. The second story is the manuscript, hence Manuscript 1. In the manuscript, we meet Kyle and Anna. They live in Odyssey, only it's the summer of 1958 and they're staying with their grandparents. They decide to go into the woods to explore an abandoned old house. What were they thinking? Next thing you know, they've crossed over into another world called Morris. Let's talk about the characters. So Kyle and Anna are your typical 10 and 12 year old. Kyle has sort of a let's go get them attitude, whereas Anna's more let's wait and think things through for just one second. I really love the way these characters play off of each other. Because they have such different personalities, it makes the story have a little bit of conflict. Super good for the storyline. Next we have Darien. There's like a king, his name's King Lawrence, but Darien is like, he is supposed to be king and everybody knows it. He is very adventurous and brave and bold and daring, yet he's kind and lovable and endearing. But he's a little mischievous and sometimes he does some pretty crazy things. Then there's a character called Old Judge. He is very wise and thoughtful and he thinks things through. He stands up for what he believes in. But he also has a really funny side that makes him pretty endearing as a character. And finally, we have King Lawrence. He is the villain in the story. And what can I say about King Lawrence? He's an emotional mess. He's up, he's down, he's all over the place. One minute he's going to kill Darian, and the next he's crying like a baby. But there's another character that I wanted to shed a little spotlight on. Prince George, King Lawrence's son. We could all stand to use a few lessons on friendship from Jonathan, I mean, from Prince George. So let me tell you what I love about this book. The storyline. It's really good. It keeps you kind of guessing. Just as soon as you get all wrapped up in this story, it switches and takes you over here and talks about this. It really keeps your attention. Even though it's recommended ages 10 and up, this is not a kiddie book at all. I mean, there were some things that happened in here that, like people dying, unexpected stuff, people you liked, people you liked dying. Something else that's really special and really cool about these books is as you're reading the story, you flip to the front of the book and check out the color photos. There's also a map. That's just an extra bonus that I think is totally cool. So guys, I'm totally recommending this book to you. There are like six books in this series. So excited to read the other ones. Hope you guys will check it out. From Juju's Corner, happy reading! Bye everybody!